What's up guys? So right now we are in Granbury, Texas going to deliver to a Michaels. We actually picked up a Michaels trailer at the distribution center. This is like a dedicated run, meaning I have two stops on this run and they were very, very short. It's a very crappy load. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of agitated because like I just delivered my last load and then they send me 30 miles down the road to pick up this one and then 40 miles to this Michaels, and then like 30 something to the next Michaels. And then I have to bring this trailer back to the uh, distribution center. So it's really crappy miles, really crappy money, and I only get one like $35 payment for an extra stop. And it's taking me pretty much the better, gonna take me pretty much the better part of my day, the rest of my half a day to do it. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a shitty one. It's a really shitty load. And I'm still in freaking Texas, man. <laughs> so yeah, why is this guy going so slow? He's going really slow. I mean, I need to get over up here because Michaels is coming up on the right, but I don't want to go 45 behind this guy. I mean, it's 55 through here, but he's going way under 55. Now he just got to the left. I'm going to go ahead and get over to the right. Anyways, um, my GPS wouldn't pull it up for some reason. Uh, it, it's take, the, only, the closest thing it would take me to is West U.S. Highway 37. But it's actually just U.S. Highway 37. Um, luckily, Google Maps pulled it up with that proper address, but my GPS wouldn't. I called and asked... Uh, I was like, where's your dock? And how do I, she's like, oh, I think it's on the back. She was like, are you in a truck? I was like, yeah, I'm in a tractor trailer. And she was like, oh. She was like, yeah, it's on the back. I was like, okay, do you know which way I should come in? She was like, no, you'll see it back there when you go back there. And I'm like, okay, well, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. It's a guessing game here. So we're just, I'm gonna go with my first instinct here hopefully I don't get stuck back there and like you know uh, I think I was past the point of no return there oh no, we didn't run it we're good we crossed through when it was yellow still and we didn't speed we're going 55 I mean I mean we could oh there it is right there that's the Michaels right freaking there yeah I don't know if I want to go in this way that's gonna be a bit difficult I think the easiest let's see yeah, that might have been a bit tricky. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go with my original plan. We're gonna go up here and try to crawl behind the building. Um, I think that's gonna be the e Ooh, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be real tight, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be fun.
Michaels is all the way on the end, so this is going to be it right freaking here. I mean, I could probably park along this curb. Um, they give us overnight parking, so I'm allowed to. Um, let me just park along this curb and go look at where the dock's at right now, because I don't know what to expect. dumpsters either see I don't okay they probably ain't gonna take me now my fleet manager said they're pretty strict on their appointment times and mine is midnight so he's like go ahead and take your break you know, like my 10 hour break you know which is what we're about to do right freaking now I'm gonna go look because I don't see a dock guys so I'm not sure what we're supposed to do so we're gonna go look <laughs> all right guys so uh interesting there is a receiving door there it says receiving but there's no buzzer or anything i knocked on it nobody answered um i'm pretty sure they're not going to take me today anyways but i don't see a dock door or any way that they unload me unless it's on the front of the building i delivered to one other michael's um, probably a couple weeks ago, wasn't that long ago. A couple weeks ago, I delivered to one other Michaels. Uh, it was right before I was going home, actually. Right when I was getting my windshield fixed. Uh, and their dock was on the front of the building. It was an actual dock on the front of the building. And that's where I backed into. It was also a midnight delivery, so there was nobody in the parking lot. It was an easy backing situation at night and all that stuff. Um, so I don't know if maybe this one is the same. So I don't know. I think I'm about to take a little walk. I was looking here on my phone at what businesses are around here. And literally right next to Michael's um, in the same building is uh, Heb, which is, oh, not upscale spa and nails. Um, shoot. God bless it. Yeah, right here. Heb, which is a grocery. Um, so I might go there and get me some food. And then there's a Starbucks just uh, like right across the street there's a McDonald's right in front of the Michaels um, I was just looking at like what all is around here within walking distance that I could go get before I go to bed because um, I got two hours if I get there to, if I want eight hours of sleep I got three hours if I sleep seven you know what I mean um, but I definitely want to be up at 11 even though my appointment isn't until 12 I at least want to be awake in case they do come out here and get me early you know, I'm not sitting here sleeping. I want to make sure I'm, I'm ready. And I want to let them know I'm here, too. So then I don't, I'm not late. You know what I mean? Which, I mean, my computer knew I was here anyways. I said that I arrived. Anyways, um, right down across the street where we turned in is Palio's Pizza Cafe. I haven't had pizza in a while, man. Last time I had pizza was at a freaking pilot. And that pizza, yeah, it's not the best. I mean, it's not terrible. The pilot pizza's okay. But yeah, there's actually an actual pizza cafe right here. Um, other than that, that's about it. There's a racetrack. Um, nothing I need from a gas station. Um, deluxe nails and spa. I don't think they give massages. I could go for a massage. I have never had a massage, guys. I have never been to a masseuse. Like an actual massage parlor. Never been to one. Never had it done. I don't know. Don't know what to expect. <laughs> is that a Michaels employee right there? I think it is. I think that might no maybe not I don't know if that's Michael's there or not that business maybe it all is but I don't know I mean I could go in front and just ask them and be like hey I'm just wondering like how do you guys receive tractor trailers <laughs> like where's your dock I mean I walked all the way to the corner of the building where that woman's walking right there and looked to see if there was one on the side nothing so I'm gonna go up front I'm gonna look I'm probably gonna run into the grocery store and grab me, I'm running out of drinks, like waters and stuff. So I'm gonna see what kind of waters they have. See if they have my flavored water that I like. I like the Nestle Splashes. Um, usually when I come back out, I bring like 12 six packs of these, like literally. So I load up on these things, but I probably drink like three of these, two to three a day or something like that. So I drink a lot of them. And then they double as, uh, you know, an emergency pee bottle. <laughs> when you're at a shipper or a receiver that doesn't have a bathroom and you gotta go, dude. Like, what else are you gonna do? You have to sometimes. You just don't have a freaking choice. My trainer had uh, plastic bags. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's common in trucking, but I had never heard of using tra um, plastic bags before. Like, little Ziploc freaking bags, dude. I'd be driving and he'd stand back there and turn his back to me 
And it took a few times for me to realize what he was doing. And then one time, I think I got a whiff of piss anyways. I was like, God dang it. I knew he was back there doing something. Because cause he'd go back there, and, like, I'd turn and look. And, like, his back would be to me. But I was like, oh, maybe he's fixing some food or something. Because he always went back there and cooked food. But, yeah, I eventually realized he was pissing. And whenever I had to pee, he always said, uh, let's go ahead and get off at an exit. An easy off, easy on. And then I would stop on the on-ramp. And I would, uh go to the bathroom but then one time i can't remember we were kind of he was driving and we were kind of in a hurry and i was like dude i gotta pee he was like just go back there and grab one of my bags that's what i do i was like bags because i didn't even realize he's pissing in a bag before i didn't know what he was peeing in honestly he's like yeah in that drawer blah blah, blah. i open his drawer and there's a freaking you know thing of ziploc baggies he's like yeah just pee in one seal it up and throw it in the garbage can it's like oh okay but i didn't like that because i feel like Okay, if I really have to pee and I pee in this bottle and I put this in my trash, it's going to be really hard for this to spill. I mean, it's going to be sealed. It can take some, you know, some some abuse in the garbage can. It's not going to, like, pop open and spill my pee everywhere. But a bag? Like, that's a lot easier to bust. You know, I forget about it one time that there's a freaking pee bag in there and I throw something away a little bit too hard or something sharp or a corner cuts it. And next thing you know, my whole freaking garbage can's filled with piss. My whole truck smells like piss. And yeah, I just like, nah, I'm good. I mean, I don't know. I, I like the bottles. They work for me. Of course, I still pee typically on the side of the road or at a truck stop normally. But you have those times when you're just somewhere where you have no choice. You have to pee. You can't just pee on the customer's property. I can't go like, you know, hey, I'm going to go freaking, you know. I guess if it was late at night, I'm not going to do this, guys. But if it was late, I will use my bottles tonight. But if it was late at night, hypothetically, you know, you could walk over and uh, probably pee, on, you know, to the other side of that fence or whatever. You know what I mean? And nobody's going to be the wiser. But some places, it's just, it's just a distribution area. You know what I mean? There's just trailers and concrete and everything else. You can't just whip it out and pee on these people's property. <laughs> you can't just do that. So what do you do? You're sitting there. You're getting unloaded or loaded or you're waiting. You're going to be there for hours. You're going to have to pee, man. You got to use a bottle. Yeah, I don't know how I got on the subject of uh, peeing in bottles, talking about the water that I like to drink. But, um, yeah, I'm sure we all do it. <laughs> Every one of us. Sometimes it's just no no choice, man. I don't, say I don't want to say a command. I said no choice, man. God bless. You suck at understanding what I'm saying. But anyways, yeah, so you got to do what you got to do. Some people have the little portable toilet things that they dump out and clean out and everything else. I don't want to deal with all that. At least with a bottle, I just pee in it, seal the cap, put it in my garbage can, and at night when I'm at the truck stop, I go throw it away. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just That's the gist of it. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy. Um, I dispose of it properly. Because you'd be surprised, man. I think like the second day I was with my trainer, we stopped to get fuel. And literally, the moment I opened my door and stepped out, there's just a pee bottle just sitting in the middle of the freaking fuel area. You know, like, before a guy left, he just opened his door and was just like, boop. I just dropped it on the ground. Like, like I, I never do stuff like that. I, I never trash. Even truck stop properties, they're already trashed by a bunch of nasty-ass people. You know what I mean? Nasty-ass truck drivers. Obviously, not all of them. Not all of us are like that. But it's, you know, you always got the few that screw everything up for everybody else it's like a lot of customers that don't have bathrooms at one time they did but then drivers are in that bathroom freaking showering in their sink and peeing all over everything and clogging up the toilet and leaving paper towels on the floor and everywhere and jacking it all up and eventually the, the, co the company's like you know what screw them <laughs> And I don't blame them. I don't freaking blame them neither, man. I don't blame them. If, if people kept going in there, but, but you know, it's a select few that ruin it for the ones of us that do pick up after ourselves. I've never thrown anything on the ground at a freaking truck stop, man. I, it, it, like every parking spot that you go to, all literally, there's they have garbage cans all over the freaking lot. But you still see guys that just throw shit everywhere. Most of the time when you back up and you back in, Right behind your truck is a garbage can. Almost all the time. Always. Every night. You know, I take my garbage, I tie it up, I walk back there, I throw it away. Put it in the damn garbage can, man. The nasty ones out here, the ones that mess it up for all of us decent ones. Anyways, I'm going to go walk up front, see if I can't see a dock. 
maybe walk inside and just ask them, hey, what am I going to have to do at freaking, you know, midnight tonight? And uh, then I'm going to take my off time. And if I have a good signal, uh, I don't really. I hate AT&T, man. I, always, I, I was going to say, if I have a good signal, I'll upload a video. I got two bars, and typically that goes really, really slow. If I have three or four, it's great. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to walk up there, uh, look for a doc. If I don't see one, I'm going to walk in there and talk to them and ask them what I need to do. And uh, then just take my break and relax for a couple hours and then uh, go my ass to bed. I walked inside the store because there was no dock up front either. So I'm like, okay, I don't know what they're going to have me do. And I walk in there and it was like three ladies in there, all super nice. And they like come up and they're like, oh, you got the delivery. Like they're all excited. And I'm like, oh, you want, you can take it now? And she's like, oh, no, we can't, we can't do that. Corporate won't let us. I'm just like, we wish we could, but corporate will not let us. We have to take it, you know, at the time that it's due. And I'm like, okay, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait and deliver it tonight. Um, but they were really nice. They said I actually back up to the front door. So the front door, I got two big sliding glass doors. Um, I actually back up to that. Uh, luckily, it's going to be in the middle of the night, so the parking lot will be clear. Uh, there is a, a uh, lane like a, where the parking lot is. One of the lanes is directly in front of the door. So really, all I'll do is pull around here and then go right and then take a left right in front of the door and then straighten out and back up. Shouldn't be too difficult at all. Um, but yeah, they are going to unload me that way. Uh, Michaels does hand unload as well. So they're going to take some uh, ramps that they have so they can get in and out of the truck easier and they hand unload you. So there's not going to be any forklift or anything going in. So it does take a while at Michaels. Um, the last one I did, they hand unloaded as well and it took them a couple hours. But usually they have like three people working on it, but it can take a little bit. Um, the next delivery I have is at three in the morning. So that's why I have to get some sleep because I'm gonna have to do these two deliveries and be up all night. Um, yeah, so that's the story. That's what's going on. That's what old Dave is doing. And uh, now I'm gonna go get some food, come back in here, eat it, relax, then get some sleep and be up to make this delivery. They said it was perfectly fine for me to sit back here. So I was like, all right, cool. That works for me, man. So anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. It's going to be a, either a short one or a boring one or I don't know. It's not very long. Wasn't no backing. <laughs> uh, oh well. Alright guys, so real quick at the end of this video, I just wanted to put this in there. Uh, because see, I already have uh, a lot of footage that I'm editing and scheduling for uploads and all that. Because I'm about a week behind on uh, uploading my videos. But, I got an Instagram message today from Nick, and Nick said that his little boy, William Cooper, has snapped his ankle badly on his scooter. He loves all of my vlogs, and Nick is a trucker as well and rides a Jixxer 750. And he said his boy is always going on about Groms, and he loves them. So he liked watching my videos on my Grom. He said that his boy took his phone down to uh, surgery saying he wanted to show the surgeons my YouTube channel. And he was hoping that I could at least send him a vid or a message and it will make him so happy. And his name is William Cooper from Maidstone, Kent, UK. He's in the uh, hospital there from snapping his ankle. Well, yes, that's why I'm making this little video late at night. I wasn't going to start filming today's video until later because I'm on my way to Laredo. But I saw that message and how can I not give the little dude my support? You know what I mean? So, William Cooper, I'm sorry that you uh, broke your ankle, buddy. When I was young, I broke my collarbone. I fell out of a tree swinging from it. And I had to wear this big brace over like both of my shoulders and everything. So I know how you feel, dude. It sucks to be in there. It's probably scary. But uh, I appreciate you liking my videos, and I do wish for you a very speedy recovery, and you're going to be just fine, dude. It's something you can tell the girls later on, you know? I don't know exactly how old you are, dude, but you can tell all the girls later, and they'll love it. Tell them how you broke your ankle riding a scooter, and they'll think you're just awesome. But you're going to be all right, dude. Thanks again for watching my videos. I hope your surgery goes well. I'll be thinking about you, and get well soon.